All right, it's been a long day. And get a chance to bathe yet, still sweating, still grimy and whatever. But the maths must go on. Use the graph to solve the equation. X squared minus 6x plus 8 equals 0. Um, so what are we going to do here? All right, so this is a graph. This is the graph. X squared minus 6x plus 8 equals 0. Well, this is the graph actually. X squared minus 6x plus 8. And we want it where it's equal to 0. Where is this going to be equal to 0? Right here and right there. Because this line here represents y equals 0, which is also known as the x-axis. So we're just going to use those two values. That's when x squared minus 6x plus 8 is equal to 0. From graph, x squared minus 6x plus 8 is equal to 0 at x equal 2 and x equal 4. And we're just putting something like x-intercepts, you know, just for kicks. All right, let's look at the next part of this question. Write down the coordinates of the minimum point. The minimum point. The minimum point is the lowest part of the graph. The, not the grass. The graph. Like a real tired boy. Way, sir. That's there. That's the minimum point. All right, so just go and write down the coordinates of that, which is 3, negative 1. So that's what we hit them with. All right, next part, right? X squared minus 6x plus 8 equals 0 in the... Hey, completing the square, right? So we get a little completing the square. You know number 9, this is a number 9 in the past week, but number 9 is where they want to hit you. This completing the square, shouldn't they? So um, this is completing the square here. I have seen four, five, six ways of completing the square. I just suggest that you do it um, where you create the perfect square. So from the graph... Uh, let's let's look at one quick method you could use using the graph. Do you know when you complete the square, this here, this h, is the x-coordinate. Well, negative h is the x-coordinate. And k is the y-coordinate of the minimum point. So using those same values, we could actually just figure out that. From graph, coordinates of minimum point, negative h and k. So is equal to 3 minus 1. So therefore, a x plus h squared plus k, and that is the complete in this complete in this square form right there. So that's you could actually use this method for for this part here because it makes perfect sense. If you're not feeling too good with that method, you can go ahead and complete the square using the traditional method, where you factorize out the a, and you insert this number here to create a perfect square. So x squared minus six x plus eight. Um, what happened here is we looked at this part of the equation, included this 9 plus 9 into the equation to create a perfect square, which is basically half of this squared. Um, don't forget if you include it, you need to take it back out so that the equations could be equal going down the road there. Uh, then after you created a, a, a perfect square, you can just factorize x minus 3 to be squared, take away 1. And lo and behold, this is the same as this. Is there more to this question? Let's see. Oh, and there's more. On the same axis, draw the graph of the straight line. G of X is equal to X minus 2. G of X, X minus 2. So X minus 2. This is basically line Y is equal to X minus 2. So you could just substitute values of X. And you'll get corresponding values of Y. And you'll just be able to plot your line. It will come across something like that, right? Let's see. So, et, oh, oh, let g of x equal y. I don't know why that et was there in the beginning. All right, I know why it was there. Because it was just bad in the editing. Let g of x equal y when x is equal to 0. Um, basically, this is like we are saying y is equal to x minus 2, right? So, when x is equal to 0, y is going to be 0 minus 2. So y is negative 2. So we get a coordinate there of the first point. Um, and x is equal, when x is equal to 2, y is equal to 0, we get the coordinate of the next point here using substitution. Now we can just connect the line going along there. Beautiful. So x squared my... Uh, oh yeah, this is the next part. Hence solve the equation. This. I think this may be the last part of the question. Because I'm real out of it tonight. X squared minus 6x plus 8 is equal to x minus 2. Um, 
this is basically an intersection. You know? This is one function and this is the next function. This is the line and this is the um, quadratic curve, also known as a parabola. So, where do they intersect? That's the answer to this question. This represents the point of intersection. What beautiful handwriting on graph. Therefore, solutions are x equal 5 and x equal 2. And that brings this question to a close. I want you to go and try some graph questions now in question 9, question 4, question 5 in the past paper. And see how that works up for you. Remember, the secret is hard work.